Hey guys! Oh. Yo, I totally thought it was you! Come here! Oh my what god! What the Jeez. hell are you doing here? Yo, I come up here all the time in the summer. Got a little farm going. What? I like it here. It's peaceful. It is. I mean, I'd even go back to school next term. What? Yeah, well, it's just like, why bother, you know? I like it here. Nope. I know Can't I like it. it here. Freaking out. Help me. It's okay. Jiminy Pritchett. Hey, um, no, I'm okay, man. Thank, Thank you. you. Anyway. Confused. Still why confused. Why bother with school? No. So why bother with school? Okay, school is important, Marcus. School gives you the benefit of added knowledge and you get to read it's things that maybe easier, you wouldn't. It's just easier, you know? I mean, like, there's no narcs, there's no rules. Just me and a ton of shit stuff to plant. <laughs> still not getting it. Still still weirded out by this. Okay. Why would you turn down Vailton? Okay, all right. Just, you know, one second. Just listen. That's why. Just me, some seeds, and then plants, man. It's like circle of life shit. <laughs> What's up, Nathan? You're looking good, man. <laughs> How long? He's just sitting there filming us. Your hair looks fine. Thank you. You're but it's not my concern. He's... I understand. All right. <laughs> Get out so I can talk about the book. Um, okay, so the book. Um, you know what? It's kind of a weird book to do because he runs off into the woods to be alone, but not really, actually. Thoreau is staying at a cabin that belongs to one of his buddies. You might know him. It's Ralph Waldo Emerson. And he runs into town all the time and talks to people. You know, and he's kind of a jerk. He uh, spends all of his time posturing like he's better than people and... Hey. What? These are beans, Andrew. Thoreau plants beans, so we're gonna plant beans. Oh, 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 uh, you do know that when I said I wanted to go camping, I in no way meant that I wanted to plant beans. But it's for the project. Technically, there is no project. I mean, technically, this is not a thing. So, technically, I don't have to do this. But don't, don't you think they'll wanna... Watch you plant beans? Mm. No bearing? Are these just lima beans? It doesn't matter what they are. Well, I mean, I don't even think these will grow. They're, they're frozen. That's not the point. The oh. point is the act of farming. Thoreau doesn't care about the beans. They're all I could find. All right. <laughs> yeah? All right, yeah, if you want to do this project, let's do this project. Okay. All right, Nathan and I will film you living your life according to these books, but I want to try something different. I want to, I want to set it up differently. I was thinking about this on the car ride over here. Instead of just vlogging it, what if Nathan and I actually man the camera and we follow you around mm -hmm. and we'll conduct interviews, you know, while we're not at school, you know, so that's more of a traditional documentary feel. Would you be down for that? I mean, it's more of a commitment. You were at my house like 20 hours a day last time. More of an on-camera commitment. I think my life was pretty well documented before. And you're down to do this till the end of the year? Mm -hmm. Yeah? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Did you get this, Nathan? Because this is super binding, Alice Rackham. <laughs> We've been spending too much time together. Oh, really? Oh no, come you here. So? No. Ah. That one. No. Ow. <laughs> that one. Ow. That one. No. Ow. I'm telling you, Throat totally had food fights. I don't think so. Wait, we're not planting it. Oh, get with it, Andrew. How come he gets to be an uninvolved participant? Because if you are not on camera, then everyone who watches will immediately stop watching. 
Where's Marcus? I will pay Marcus for this. I, I will pay him to do this. Marcus! Hey. You here? I'm here. What is that for? First, you cannot pay somebody to have a life experience for you. And second, I don't know. There's dirt under my fingernails and I'm tired of bending over to plant beans, but something about creating a thing out of nothing and Thoreau writes about nature and the wilderness and all that and it's just inspiring, you know? Kind of like creating a novel out of nothing. Yeah. Sure. I mean, that. I think that's what Marcus meant last night. He's quitting school. That is ridiculous. Well, you know, you're right. It's nice to get away from, I don't know, material stuff. Yeah. Is that my line of view? <laughs> ah, there's so much mud on me. You wanted to do this. No, no, no. <laughs>